Hello world. Yesterday, Paradox and Colossal Order dropped two new content creator packs. The Train Stations pack developed by Bad Peanut and the Bridges and Piers pack developed by Armesto. And in today's video, we're gonna talk all about them. Ready? For easy YouTube viewing, I have put timestamps in the video. If you hover over the little bar on the YouTube player, you'll be able to see the different sections and go to whatever one you want, or the timestamps are in the description below. We will look at all of the train stations, metro stations, and hubs in the train stations pack. We will look at the road bridges, pedestrian bridges, train bridges, keys, and piers, all in the bridges and piers pack. I will show you a super secret parking lot asset hidden in the train stations pack. And then we will chat about how I feel about the two new packs and why I'm kind of excited. Let's get into it though. Let's look at the metro stations, train stations, and hubs in the train stations content creator pack developed by Bad Peanut. These first six that we will see are the metro stations. These three are above ground and looking phenomenal. Some of these stations you'll notice have multiple tracks and the ones in the middle could definitely be used as through tracks, which would allow you to have metro lines have their stops on either side. If you also want a metro line just to go right through here and be able to carry on to the next stop without stopping, you can use the center line. I think that's genius. These next three are underground, but you can still see the trains going through. And look at the little clocks. I love these guys. This is the one that I put down in my city last night. And so I will show you what this looks like functioning. And this one's gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. These are great. Moving on to the train stations. The train stations have a lot of parking involved, which is phenomenal. If you're interested in a secret about these parking assets, stay tuned till later in the video. I'll show you where you can find them. I really love this one. I'm excited to put my own greenery on this. And I feel like this one would be easy to make into like an old derelict station. We can put some graffiti on the wall. We can put some overgrown bushes all along here. I'm excited to try to use this one. Keep moving forward. I'm noticing so many of these have the glass used in the models and it just brings something new that we haven't seen yet. And finally, we have the four transit hubs. So this first one has all of these train lines as well as the metro lines over top. So your trains can meet your metro, which is super handy. We have a train hub with the four train lines with the parking in the middle and the market underneath. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. We're familiar with these market assets used in the Park Life DLC for the city park. We have this train hub, which crosses over at this angle. What do we think that is, 45 degrees? And it's just, it's phenomenal. And this one might be my favorite. They all might be my favorite, let's be real. But this is a Metro Hub with three lines underneath and two over top, and it just looks phenomenal. To find these hubs and the train stations, you will want to go to your transport menu. And on the very right, you will see content creator packs, and they're all in here. Next, let's move on to the Bridges and Piers pack developed by Armesto. In this, we have found seven road bridges, three train bridges, two pedestrian bridges, 14 keys, and two piers. And we will look at them all. Starting with the pedestrian bridges. I'm really loving these. I have laid them out on the ground as well, just to see what they look like so that you know before you put them down. Uh, but look at the detail. All of these bridges, all of them, have such wonderful new details and new textures that we haven't seen yet in vanilla. And I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love with these so much. So there's the one pedestrian bridge. And if we come over here, this is the next pedestrian bridge. Look at the structure underneath. It's phenomenal. The wonderful textures don't carry down when you place them down flat on the ground, but you know, being that they're a bridge pack, this is not surprising. To find these pedestrian paths, you would go to your landscaping and disasters menu, which is where you would normally find your paths. But over here on the very right, bridges and piers, and you've got the two pedestrian bridges. 
Moving on to the seven new road bridge types. I have also laid these out flat on the ground and some of these do look a bit different than what we're used to. Here is our first road bridge. Again, just the details in the textures that we haven't seen before, the cool fences that we haven't seen before. I love this color of green. Moving on, this one I'm very excited to try some things out with. It's most detail is underneath the road. We've got a section here that could be used as a pedestrian path. I think that's visually what it's intended to be. I don't believe that it functions as a pedestrian path without using mods. But guys, if you play on PC and you use mods, I think putting an elevated invisible path here would work and I'm so excited to try it out in my city. This is one of the bridges that I'm actually the most excited about the flat version for because you can see this texture up top for the sidewalks also carries over to the flat texture and I haven't seen that before. I do really love the details on the sides. I think it looks phenomenal. I think this one might take the cake for being my favorite just with the amount of depth and how not flat the sides are. I really love this. It's got wonderful textures. Someone in my Twitch chat last night mentioned that this is maybe signage for boats as if this were crossing over a canal or something. My favorite thing about this bridge honestly is the underside of it. If you come under here, I really like that. Again, I really enjoy depth and non-flatness. Um, and yeah, I just, I love the way that it looks under here. 10 out of 10 would camp underneath this bridge. Carrying on. This one has some more ornate decorations on the side and I think they're very, very charming. And the fencing or the railing, whatever you wanna call it, along the side also has some really great detail. This is gorgeous, well done. The texture on the sidewalk as well. And that carries over to the flat version. And finally, we have a bridge highway piece. The flat highway doesn't look much different than we're used to but we have a bridge highway and we've just got some new textures, some new railing to work with and it looks great. To find these road bridges, you would go to your roads menu and you guessed it, find the bridges and piers tab near the right and here are all your road bridges. Moving on to the train bridges that came with the pack, we will start with what I think is my favorite solely for the color. These first two, when you place them as the bridge, are one way. And look at look at the color. It's just phenomenal. This looks great. I'm, I don't even know what else to say. Next, this guy also looks really neat. I would love to use this in like an industrial area or over, over like a canyon. <laughs> Every time I look at them, I just want to say they're great. And finally, we have the high speed viaduct. Viaduct? Viaduct? It looks very smooth. It looks smooth and swift and uh, I'm all for it. To find the train bridges, you will go to your transport menu and on the right, you can see content creator packs and there are your train bridges. Next, we will look at the 14 different keys that come with the pack. They can also be known as seawalls from what I understand, but either way, you can be sure that they have unlocked the key to my heart. Okay. All right, let's carry on. Before I scroll past them, I want to tell you that you will find them in the landscaping and disasters menu. And just like the pedestrian bridges, find the bridges and piers, and you'll see them down here. I have placed them down in order from left to right. And what's really great about these is that some of them in your menu, you'll see them with the arrows. They have pedestrian paths. So pedestrians can now use these to walk along the ocean, go for a date, hold hands, all that cheesy stuff. My point is, is that there is essentially seven types of key walls here split into two differences. Sometimes the difference is that there is a fence along the top, like these first two. Most of the time, the difference is where there is pedestrian pathing. And at the end, we'll see the difference with the stairs. So let's look at them. Again, if you're looking at your menu while you're watching this video, these are them left to right. Here's the first wall with the fencing and with no fencing. The next two look very similar, but one of them has pathing on both and one of them has pathing just on the top. Same thing with these next two. And I think, I think these two are my favorite. These stairs going up and down to the second level combined with this really gorgeous fencing up top, 
it's a masterpiece. I'm so excited to use these. Moving on, these next two have a thick bottom. <laughs> And same thing, the difference is one of them has pathing on both, one of them has pathing just on the top. These next two, the difference between them is the fencing being up top versus not. These next two have two levels with a thinner bottom level. One of them has pathing up top, one of them does not. And then these last two are the ones with the different types of stairs. So this one has kind of the long, smooth, drawn out staircase down. And then this one has a shorter ramp with the staircase just by the lampposts. How awesome is it to have these new key walls, especially on console when you couldn't get them from the workshop? So excited. And finally, let's look at the piers that came with the Bridges and Piers pack. I'm not gonna lie to you, when I first put them down, I was a little meh about them because when you look at them like this, they, you know, they're small, they're tiny. They do provide an entertainment value, so that's helpful. But then someone in my Twitch chat suggested to put them down on top of these keys and these look a lot better. Definitely need to tinker with the heights of them, but I can see using these and using them over to the right makes sense where a key wall just ends but I think the best key to use them with is these single level straight keys. This makes sense to me. Now I understand where the beauty of these lie. If you want to find these peers, you would go to your Parks and Plaza's menu and on the very right, content creator packs, and there they are. Hey YouTube, I have a secret for you. Did you know that the train station's content creator pack comes with parking? Well, I thought it did. I got very excited and then I discovered that it's not quite what I thought. But let me show you anyways. If you're playing on PC and you have the find it mod, you can use find it. You can type in parking. And if you're like me and have way too many parking assets, mm. filter for only vanilla and you come up with this. So this parking lot is obviously what's used in these train station parking lots, right? And it looks like it operates just like the parking lot roads, which by the way, I have a tutorial for on this channel. It'll be in the info card on the top right. It even comes with the parking spaces to place down in the parking lot, just like in the parking lot roads. When I was playing around with these, I built a parking lot with this in the middle of my city in a very busy area and I let the game run for a long while waiting for cars to park in here and nobody did. Then I took a closer look in the find it menu and here's why they don't work. If you read this, it says network, small roads, no street parking. So they can't just park on this like it's a normal street that cars can park on. And I thought that maybe, okay, the, the parking spaces are what does it. But if you hover over them, you see how it says decal? So a, a, a decal that's placed on the ground is visual only. In the parking lot roads, the parking spaces are buildings, which is why your sims are able to park in them. These are hidden here. I don't know if it is intended for them to show up. I don't know if it'll ever be patched out because you can't find them anywhere but in the find it menu. So sorry console players, you can't even do this visually. But I thought I would tell you th that they're here and if you can't get them to work, don't stress it's because they don't work. And if you can get them to work, oh my goodness, please tweet at me or something and I will make a correction video. Before I get into how I feel about these packs and if I like them or not, let me show you the one metro station in action. This is my work in progress transit hub in my city that we've been working on over on Twitch. And I've put down this metro station here. It clips to this road and using Anarchy and Move It, I've put in an asset in between it. Did you guys know that I'm Canadian? But if you take a look underneath, you can see our Sims getting on and off the metro trains as they come in. You can see them waiting around for new trains to come in. You can watch them go up and down the stairs as they exit and enter the station. And gosh golly, if this isn't the coolest thing ever, I don't know what is. Being able to see these trains in action and watch your sims board and exit the trains is phenomenal. 
So I hope that that was helpful. And if you have any questions or you can't find something, please let me know in the comments below. As of recording this video, everything seems to work in a modded save. Loading screen mod was updated earlier this morning. And so you should just be able to fire these up into your current city and especially on vanilla console, you'll have no problem. A really quick spiel on why I'm excited about these. I think these packs bring beautiful new textured assets to the game that might not have been accessible before. I know for us modded PC players, there's the workshop, we can download it, it's free and it's easy. But there's people who play on console. There's people who just prefer the vanilla game on PC. And there's people who can't, for whatever reason, spend the time or figure out how to work the workshop. And that's okay. I feel the same way about the train stations. I've heard some people saying that you can just put together your own hubs and that sort of thing with anarchy and move it and procedural objects. Again, think of the vanilla players, the console players, and this also just provides these beautiful stations for people who don't have the ability or <laughs> the, the time to put together their own multi-leveled transit hubs. I think this brings accessibility of beauty, I guess to a much wider audience. And I'm super happy about that. I think it also highlights workshop creators like Bad Peanut and Armesto. Guys, oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you for working with Colossal Order to bring these to us. And finally, I know that some people were maybe a little bit let down by, of course, not a City Skylines 2 announcement, but we were told we weren't getting that anyways. Some people were a little let down by not having like a full DLC being released. My hope, and my, my hope, <laughs> is that with Paradox letting us know that they are working on something with Colossal Order, but they can't really talk about it yet. And with content for cities sort of dwindling and becoming these smaller packs, maybe that means that they're focusing their time on something else big and new and too. That's my hope. I don't know if it's what I think is happening, but I'm pretty good at being optimistic. So I will sit tight and play this game that I love so much until something new and exciting is announced. Let me know why I'm wrong in the comments below or just if you have an opinion overall. And if you want some more City Skylines content, please do subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. And uh, guys, I will see you next time.